And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time! Do you like your acoustic guitars really thin with a bolt on neck and with Fender written on the headstock? Because if you do, then this is the guitar for you. <laughs> and it goes well on highways and stuff like that. Pedal show, my name is Kabul. Oh, seamless. Hey, I'm Alex. Welcome along. We're going to check out this little parlor baby today. Please hit like and subscribe on the channel first. Give us a thumbs up. Ding the bell and all that good stuff. Uh, please leave, do, leave please a do. comment. See what you think. Yeah. Exactly. And I just want to mention right from the start, this was sent to us by the lovely, lovely people at Fender Australia. So this is what you would call a sponsored video. So they've lent us this guitar, not yep. given it to us. They've lent us this guitar for some videos. A uh, big thank you, Fender Australia. So, Alex, G'day. the Highway Series Acoustic by Fender, yep. uh, parlor-sized in natural color. Sure is natural. Mm. Look how thin it is. It's like, a, like a thick telly. It is like a thick telly. Now, you can watch an unboxing first impressions video I did up here. Now, mm -hmm. the first thing I noticed cool. was how loud it actually is acoustically, So, considering how thin it is. Obviously, I've got no volume just now. This is us playing in the room. Same mic. Talk over like this. You can talk over it like this. But it has a lot... It, let's just say it this way, it has more body and resonance than I thought it would have. Sure. When you first sort of took it out of the guitar case. Interesting. Yeah, cool. So, um, should we do some basic specs, see what we're looking at, see what um, it's made of? Let's do some basic specs. goes into this guitar? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the specs are, we have a parlor size, uh, we have a chambered mahogany body and sides, See that mahogany? That's a really, that's actually quite nice mahogany. It's pretty mahogany, isn't it? Must yeah. say. It's almost a bit of flame on the side. We have a solid Sitka spruce top. It's got a belly cut, by the way. Ooh, belly cut as well. Oh, spruce. Oh, yes, a spruce top. Spruce top. We've got a satin polyester finish. See that? Satin. <laughs> <laughs> we have a parlor body shape. We have tapered floating X bracing. And we've checkerboard rosette. Yeah, it's nice stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have the neck now made out of mahogany with a, a satin urethane finish, a C shape, skunk stripe, a 24.75 inch scale length, rosewood fingerboard with a 12 inch fingerboard radius, 20 frets with narrow tall frets with a Graftec tusk nut. And the nut is 1.6875 inches or for your non-North American inclined, 42.86 millimeters uh, nut width. 42.86. 86. Oh, that's the magic. We've got white dot position inlays. We've got a head adjustable truss rod and a 1 8th inch hex adjustment truss rod. So, Allen key. Yep. Now, the other thing is we have a Fishman Fluence acoustic pickups, which I believe is exclusive in this series uh, with a volume and contour control. And the knobs are quite nice too, actually. They're sort of They're like turned from wood. <laughs> exactly. We have a modern Viking bridge. Almost looks like rosewood. Sorry. Oh yeah. Possibly. It doesn't say what the what they are. Yeah. Uh, modern Viking bridge, white bridge pins, chrome hardware and finish, Fender classic gear machine heads. Oh yeah, machine heads. It uh, comes with eleven to fifty two gauge strings, Fender Duratone strings, coated phosphor bronze strings. And it comes in a deluxe gig bag. Now, let's just start off with that straight off the bat. Sure. This is a deluxe gig bag. It's got some grip on the bottom for getting through muddy tracks and whatnot. Yeah, so it's got the tire yeah. tire marks, yeah. tire things, treads. This is a deluxe gig bag. Yep. All the other stuff they call deluxe gig bag with the electric guitars, to me, is just a gig bag. This is a deluxe gig bag. That's what I call a deluxe. This is a good gig bag with... Look, at, look at that, look at that. Oh, grip. Grip. Shoulder grip. Shoulder grip. Yes. And it massages Shoulder. you as you're doing it. Oh, that's what you want. That's a good case. So that's a good bag it comes with, fitted especially for this. So this is a parlor size guitar. There's a dreadnought size as well, but I actually um, specifically asked for a parlor. I do tend to like smaller body guitars. Uh, actually, I play a lot of acoustic and I play yeah. um, a, an auditorium size guitar. And even though I'm quite tall and lanky, so I have... I have the spider arms to go around. You and have drip. arms. I have arms. Yep. No, but I've got long arms. Uh, I still prefer smaller body guitars, so I asked for the parlor because I wanted to see what the parlor shape is like. Actually, so do I. I love, um, like kind of the mid-range you get from especially finger style stuff. Yeah. From smaller bodies. Yeah. So. And you don't get as much of that bottom end boom, which often plugged in playing is not 
necessary. Sure. It just gets in the way more than anything else. You don't have that heftiness. Now, Alex, uh, should we just do a couple of sounds? Uh, check it out. Check out the pickups too. What a pickup. Volume and this sort of tone contour thingy. So, so it says, I'll, I'll tell you what it says. Yeah. Do you want me to tell you what it says? I guess so. How about I tell you what it says? Maybe you so should tell me what it says. It's a multi-voice control. It's designed in collaboration between Fender and Fishman. Yep. Uh, it features intuitive controls for volume and contour, which pans between two different EQ settings, providing the player unique tonal control without colouring the natural acoustic sound of the instrument. So I feel like all the way open, which would be open like a volume control, I feel like that's bigger. And if you back it off, it gets more mid-rangey. Yep. Well, should we try that out? Should we check it out? So we, we're going right now, we're just going, we've got a tuner on the ground here. Um, but other than that, we're just going straight direct into Logic. Yep. This is wide open everything. That was a fancy chord. Four minor. Fancy chord. Secondary dominant. What? Was it secondary dominant? That's four minor. Four minor? Okay. Yeah. So it's a four <laughs> chord as a minor in a major yeah. key, which is usually a major key. You know? Yeah. It's yeah. like a fun thing to do. Um, should we try the tone contour th yeah. thingy mid bob? What that's, he said. That's technical Latin term. <laughs> <Latin>. Yeah. <laughs> Through more, so I don't know if it's perceived mid range because it rolls off to possibly the top and bottom, but it, yeah, it, it, it's that. But that's also a pot temperature, pot temperature, <laughs> so we can blend between the two, too. Yeah, yeah. Choose what chord. <laughs> yeah. I should also mention, so there is no uh, piezo pickup. So there's nothing under the saddle. It's just the one on the neck there. That's the only pickup there is. So in, so you can't really do that thump thing. You don't not as much. Thump not on as the much. Bridge, like under saddle pickup. It still works a little bit, it's but not nowhere near as much. Nowhere yeah. near as much. Um, what else should we do with this? Do you want to play? Let me have a go. Let me have a little play. Yeah. And then we'll do we'll do experience with it because I took it to a gig as well, yeah. Um, and then we'll talk about all that sort of stuff later. But um, so let's start off with it. Everything wide open. I'm going to be much louder than him. <laughs> Heavy picks on it. Well, oh, I usually actually use hey. different. I do the same. I use different picks when I play acoustic usually. <laughs> than that but the black one if you have the black version of it no we could try it's like a strumming thing too like okay yeah with different pick up but different picks yeah so you get the clickiness of the pick more even thinner. OK. 
Okay, rolling it back a bit. Say that's a pretty soft one, yeah. Yeah. You can do like the um, classic if you're playing like country songs or something. It's really straight, strummy stuff. Minor, minor four again. Yeah, for all those Eagles songs you want to do. So. <laughs> That was every Eagle song. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a nice sounding guitar. It, the neck is nice. It feels nice. It's a good playing guitar. Let's just go. Okay, we've done a couple of sound examples. Actually, we'll do another sound example in a minute going into an electric guitar because yep. people have asked about this as well, so we'll do that as well. But you've only really tried this today. First impression for you, Alex. Just playing it, just pure how it plays, how it sounds, how it feels. It uh, feels pretty good. It's very comfortable with the... Um both the forearm contour and the belly cut on this side. So your big gut is all good? Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Just had noodles for lunch, so I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm using that belly cut. And um, it's kind of... Okay, who's this for? Okay, well this is going then, let, let, let's do my my five cents as well then, and then we'll okay. do the... We'll What's do your the, five cents then? We'll do the into the electric guitar amp at the end thing. Okay. So my five cents. What's I, your five cents? I use it as a solo acoustic player. I've tried this amp, this guitar out. My first impression was, I liked the sound of it, I liked it, but it didn't have quite as much weight and body as a normal acoustic guitar. Okay. So as a solo player, solo acoustic guitar player, who plays somewhat percussive, yeah. I found it was lacking that. So I don't think it is for a solo acoustic player. This guitar to me, because it's quite mid forward too, Yeah. to me, this is the kind of guitar you play if you sing and play a little bit of guitar in a band, you have the rest of the band, electric guitar, keys, whatnot, and you need a guitar on stage that will A, not give you that big low low frequency feedback when you go too loud, that, yes. that woofy sound that you get from a lot of acoustic guitars, because the body's much smaller, and it has that mid-range, so it pokes through the rest of the band more. So to me, this is a, who it is for, it's for someone who plays in a band who maybe for someone who plays acoustic guitar, uh, electric guitar mostly, but wants to play acoustic guitar in a few songs mm -hmm. to fit in a band. To me, that's that. That's who that guitar is for. Sure. There you go. That's my five cents. Okay. But I mean, other than that, I mean, playability, uh, 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 quality, the feel of the neck, the how it stays in tune. I, I tune it down to E flat as well because I always when I gig I tune down to E flat, so it's down a, a semitone. Um, I only think cosmetically, I'd like to see more a traditional headstock with three aside. Well, it's the Fender thing. That's, that's it, 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 they've done the Fender sort of thing. Well, they've got and, Fender acoustics with three aside. And it's a bolt on neck as well, which is a, again more the Fender thing. Um, I do like actually. I'll show a close up of it. It's it's engraved the Fender logo. It's yeah, in, it's laser cut. In, laser cut into yeah. the wood, uh, which is really quite pretty. Um, but all I, I like the guitar. I, I've been playing it at home a lot. Yep. I think it's also a great guitar if you want to play acoustic guitar and practice songs and stuff like that and you have kids sleeping in a room next door to the living room where you are and you don't necessarily want to wake them up. You have enough body but it's not, again, you don't have that lower thump that you get. Oh, and what you were saying before, the, when you hit the bridge to get that thumpy sound, that was sort of missing a bit from that when I was playing because I do sure. do that a lot. Okay. So that's what I'm getting at. So it's a different style of pickup. Different style of pickup, yeah. Just not designed for that. No, that's what yeah. I mean. So, But you asked who's it for. Mm. I don't think it's for a solo acoustic player. Yep. I think it's for someone playing in a band. Hence the smaller body as well. Definitely. Well, should we plug it into an electric guitar rig? Let's. That's be fun. All right, and we're back, and we're now plugged into our usual setup. So we're going into the Mostronic Amp Switcher, into the Cherry Tone OTS Mini 20. See, I know all this stuff too. It's a Dumble Style Clean. And then we're going into the um, Captor, Captor X uh, for um, Cabinet Sims and stuff. That all happens there. Yeah. Let's see what it sounds like. Um, everything wide up. Thank you. 
interesting. Should we try into the distorted amp? <laughs> we'll see, yeah, see how it goes. Yeah. Are we clipping things? Yep. Yeah. Well, there you go, that's into a distorted amp. Um, really meant for that. So, final thoughts, Alex? It's pretty cool if you're a singer songwriter and uh, need a stage guitar. This could be the one to check out, especially if you're not um, like built very large, so it's very ergonomic. Yeah. If you're um, a yeah. smaller torso excuse, person. Excuse you, dog. And there's a <laughs> mystery dog wandering around yeah. the place. Um, yeah, so like I said, to me, it's a guitar that's for someone who plays in a band, front a band, who maybe not play acoustic guitar all the time, but maybe just a couple of songs, or for someone who plays in a band who usually plays mostly electric guitar and just does a couple of songs on acoustic. Yeah. And wants something that will fit into the the band frequencies and not have that big woofy feedback thing that you often get at louder volumes from an acoustic guitar. Or then you put that plug into the acoustic guitar, but then that gets rid of, that. it sounds like crap too. That usually changes the sound quite drastically. So um, I think that's who that's for, personally. That's, cool. yeah. But all up, like I said, I can't fault it. The, the frets are nice. The build quality is really nice. It's quite good, isn't it? Um, yeah, no, all the seams on the timber are spot on. Stays in tune really well. So it was, I used it at a gig and for the whole gig, it, I didn't have to retune. Fantastic. Yeah, so it was, it was fine. The only thing that I could su suggest might be cool is have a tone as well as this uh, contour control. Okay. So um, with the mid-range plus a bit of tone off, you could actually get some more arch-top jazzy type tones. Oh, ah, like yeah, you could, yeah. I think... That kind of thing. I think having that Fishman pickup but an awesome piezo under the bridge and you can blend the two, that could have been kind of cool too. Sure. To get a more traditional acoustic sound. But, I mean, it sounds pretty cool and it's a whole different pickup thing um, but yeah um, I think all up it's it's a good guitar built very well what do you guys think yeah. uh, leave us a comment below in the comment section of the video where the comments that live that's a good place to put them give us comments a few times <laughs> um, yeah please do and big thank you once again to Fender Australia for sending this out to us uh, if there's anything else you want to see with this or anything Fender related let us know in the comments below and we do our best to, to try and do some Fender videos with our <laughs> yeah. friends at Fender Thanks for and hanging. the Highway Series acoustic. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you soon. Links below to socials and podcasts. And I'm going to put a f uh, playlist with all the Fender stuff here now. Good stuff. Watch see it. You. See you soon. Click on it. Watch it. Have you clicked yet? Click on it. Click on it.